Hi guys, Brain the Squirrel. I am back with another video. I've been on YouTube a lot looking, just looking through the newsfeed and I've seen a lot of these like smash or pass videos, which are basically like snug merry avoid sort of thing. So I thought I'd put a little twist on it and I'd do collab, promote, avoid. Basically go through YouTubers, say who I'd collab with, who I'd uh, avoid and who I would promote in a video. So yeah, my brother is sat on the couch over there and he's going to be giving me three YouTubers at a time and yeah, I'll go through them. So yeah, let's get straight into the first one. Mini Minter, King Batch, Beard Meets Food. Right, so we've got Mini Minter, King Batch, Beard Meets Food. No, I knew my, I knew having my brother would be good because he knows for a fact I love all three of these people. The collab is definitely going to have to be Simon, Mini Minter. 100% massive side men fan. And now we go on to the other two. Um, oh, this is this is tricky. Yeah, I'd promote King Batch. The guy's hilarious and he's absolutely brilliant with editing and everything. And I, that means I'd have to avoid beer meets food. The problem is I love all three of them, so uh, avoiding one it's it's bad. But yeah, that I just I would have to go with that. Joe Weller, Logan Paul, Jake Paul. Uh, Joe Weller, Logan Paul and Jake Paul. Truth is, I don't like any of these three and my brother knows that. Joe Weller, I used to actually love watching Joe Weller but since he started do doing all this Haunted Mansion stuff I've kind of stopped watching and I don't enjoy it. The Haunted Mansion stuff just isn't for me. Uh, I'm going to have to say that I would collab with Joe Weller literally because I used to enjoy his content. The guy seems like a stand-up guy I just, I'm not into the whole Haunted Mansion stuff. Promote, it'd have to be Jake Paul, literally for the reason that I couldn't promote Logan Paul. He's done too much that's like too bad. Like don't get me wrong, Jake Paul, he's a bit of a dick himself. Yeah, Logan Paul, I, th I think is just worse than Jake. Zucker, well, meaningless. Oh, right, we've been given Zucker, Will Any, and Memeless. If you guys have watched my video on my favourite YouTubers, you'll know that all three of them are in my top five. Ah! But I'm going to promote Zerka. Literally, he's my favourite YouTuber, so promoting him would be a massive thing. But for collabing with, I feel like I'd just work a lot better with Will Any. The, the guy's brilliant. He, he, he just knows how to make a video, like, perfect. So, yeah, uh, I, I definitely think I'd uh, collab with Will Any. But it means... That I'd be avoiding Memulus. And again, I wouldn't want to avoid Memulus. The guy is brilliant. He's funny as fuck. Even though he never shows his face, he knows the perfect things to say and everything. So avoiding him is a pain, but uh, that's the way I have to go with it. Ozzy Man, on each pranks, Vicstar. So next we've got Ozzy Man Reviews, Vicstar123, and On Inch Pranks. Actually, this one feels a little bit better for me. I feel like we're doing it this way. Big Star 123 for the person to collab with. Literally because it has to be now Vic Star because the now Vic Star is like a lot more savage and everything. So we, I feel like I'd be able to have good banter with him. But if, it, if we're talking like old Vic Star, like from quite a while ago, I wouldn't be able to do it. He, he used to be like sensible and that. But now he's loosened up and he's the best Vic he can be. So promoting, it's going to be Aussie Man Reviews. Actually, I, I, I'd say I'll promote it now. Go and check him out. He's fucking brilliant. Like, it takes the simplest of videos and turns them into these brilliant things. Hornage Pranks. I, I, I do watch it and it is funny. But sometimes it can be a bit too much or a bit over the top for me. Which is why I'd avoid it. But that's not to say it's bad content. Because, like I say, I do watch it and I do laugh at a lot of it. So here we've got Raka Raka, JJ, KSI, and Kallax. All three YouTubers I watch, like, a lot. Collab, I think it's going to have to be Raka Raka, definitely. Because I, I literally love everything that they do in videos. They, they make these, like, pure Hollywood videos that are on YouTube so yeah uh, I think I'd definitely work with them to promote between Calix and JJ uh, oh see it's difficult because both of them 
or definitely fit into my kind of humour. Can I not just promote both? No. One or the other way. I'm going to have to promote JJ, literally because I watch JJ a lot more than I watch Calyx. I, I watch Calyx a lot, but I do watch JJ a lot more. So, I've got to say that I promote JJ and that means I would be avoiding Calyx. Oh, all of these YouTubers that are never going to work on me. What Culture Wrestling, Cultaholic, Joe Santagos. So we've got What Culture Wrestling, because uh, like What Culture have got a lot of different channels, but we're focusing on the wrestling one here. We've got Cultaholic, and we've got Joe Santagato. Santagato. Why don't I know this Joe guy's name? Like I I've watched his videos. I know I know exactly who you're talking about, and I've watched like loads of his videos, but I'm not sure what his last name is. Let, let, let's go through this for a uh, proper standpoint. A collab with, it's gonna be Cultaholic. Like 100% it's gonna be Cultaholic. These, this is made up of some of the best people that were in what culture to begin with. Cultaholic, all day, every day, and they make, like when they talk about wrestling, they talk about it with a pure passion. Like probably even more passionate than I talk about wrestling. Uh, what Culture Wrestling would be the one that I promote. I really like them. It's not been the same since those guys left, but it is still really good. So uh, definitely promote them. It means, unfortunately, that I avoid Joe. Uh, Joe does make some really good videos, like uh, the Walmart videos and things like that. But yeah, unfortunately, it's avoid the other two were wrestling. Why? I'll tell you why. And it's actually why. Here's why. He's fucking brilliant. Well, they sing. Why is the course here? Ellie Beast. This one's pretty straightforward. We've got Lily Singh, aka Superwoman, Liza Koshi, and the LA Beast. I don't know why he's put these three in together. Like, there's literally <laughs> nothing tying them together at all. Except maybe two of them. I would collab with Liza Koshi. The woman just makes me laugh. Honestly, she. She, she's one of these who's got it right when it came from going from Vine over to YouTube. But that's because she was doing the YouTube during the Vine. Superwoman is going to be the person that I promote. Again, un unbelievably funny. One of the big things with uh, Superwoman is the fact that she also is into wrestling. Like, we've, she's had videos where she's been and watched it live. Like, watched Wrestle been to watch WrestleMania live, been to watch Raw live, been to watch SmackDown live. So yeah, uh, uh, there's a lot of like similarity there. LA Beast, I've not really watched much of his content, so it's not like I'm avoiding it because I don't like him or because I'm slating the guy or whatever. It's literally just because I haven't really watched much of his stuff, so I'd probably have to watch a bit more. Soviet Wumble, Tub Jizzle, Alonzo Laurent. Right, we've got TBJZL, or Toby, Tub Jizzle, whatever you want to call him. You've got Soviet Womble, and you've got Alonso Laron. Yeah, I think this one's going to be pretty straightforward for me as well. Uh, collab with Toby. He's, he's like the swaggiest person on uh, YouTube. Literally, there's the guy can never look bad on video, and I don't know why. Like, he, he must have some like magical power that makes him just look good on video. You know for a fact, you just have to watch any video with him and he is so friendly and so nice to everyone. Like, literally everyone. So it'd be, it'd be a pleasure to literally collab with uh, Toby. Uh, to promote, it's going to be Alonzo Laron. He does the videos on like Twitter fails, like he's got the catchphrase, uh, get a dictionary for all the spelling mistakes and everything. Uh, yeah, I, I, I just love watching that sort of stuff. Unfortunately, I would avoid Soviet Womble. It's not because I don't like him yet again. It's literally just because he, he barely uploads. So it kind of gives the other two an edge. So Soviet Womble, he is funny. He, and he has put out a lot of great videos. And let's go on to the final one. Tom. Brad Holmes. Jack Jones. Bursy Chubb. Right, so we've got Jack Jones. Brad Holmes and FouseyTube. Do Brad Holmes and Jack Jones even have YouTube? I mean, I know they've got Facebook and they put out terrible content on it, but... No. Yeah, uh, th th this is going to be difficult. 
I'm gonna say I'd collab with FoosyTube. Like, out of all three of them, FoosyTube is the lesser of three evils. Who would I promote? Oh. See, the other ones have been more like, who who would I promote? Oh, it's a horrible choice because I, I, I want to promote them both. This one, I want to avoid them both because they both make terrible, terrible videos. I know my videos aren't the best, but do you know what? Screw it. I'm going to say it. At least I don't fake my videos. You know what? I think I'm going to have to go with promote Brad Holmes. Literally for the reason that I would avoid Jack Jones. Jack Jones is just human garbage. Like, literally, you've seen the racist stuff. You've seen, like, just the crap from him. The guy is just a wanker. I'm sticking with that. And I know it's going to sound bad me going, oh, yeah, the guy's a wanker and that. But you know what? Uh, I, I, I think you guys would prefer honesty from me rather than me just giving you a load of spiel. Like, oh, yeah, no, he's a nice guy. No, the, the truth is the guy's a prick. But, yeah, uh, there's, there's my little game. I kind of probably ended my full YouTube career with that and it's not even started yet uh, but yeah I, I hope some of you did like it if you did like give it a like comment down below any other little games that you'd like to see me play because that was fun it was like a little twist on uh, Snog Mary Avoid which yeah I enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so that you can always stay up to date on my content and yeah I will catch you guys in the next one